everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about refer brushes. And I know a lot of you all have been seeing me use refer brushes on my channel. I've been getting a lot of questions about them. A lot of you all are like, where can I get these brushes from? Who is refer? So they are definitely the new kids on the block, but I am in love with them. So I wanted to do this video for those of you all who are interested in the brands and want to get to know a little bit more about them. If you want to know about refer, you are now in the right place and actually today they are launching their Kickstarter so you can get your hands on them readily because they've had a website but on their website you can sign up to get prototypes and they go really fast. Today you can custom order your brushes so I figured why not do a video overviewing them right now. So I have a lot of information to go over so if I'm looking down I'm referring to my notes because I want to make sure I don't leave out any information. Like I said, the brand is called Refer Brushes and I actually met one of the owners of the brand. Mel and I actually went to lunch with him. He flew from Canada to meet us in Nashville to go to lunch and talk about the brand. So that in and of itself was like, dang, like, okay. You really care about that face-to-face -face connection. He was super sweet. Hey, Tom. And he was explaining all about the brushes and it made me fall in love with the brands even more. Now, I do want to state that this is not a sponsored video I am NOT getting anything from doing this video but I just want to share the brand with you all because whenever there is a new brand with such nice people behind the brand then you want to promote that because not only do they offer great products but the people behind it are great as well and that is almost as important as the products nowadays so what refer brand is bringing to the table is that they are coming through with a new approach to luxury beauty and you all know I'm a luxury beauty lover you watch my channel you know the type of brush I use you know the type of products that I use and so these brushes are on par with all of the other luxury brushes out on the market when I was talking to Tom at lunch he was explaining that the three guys who started the brand himself included they had no idea about the beauty industry. So what they've done is launched their website and they've been allowing people to try out prototypes. And so you could just pay for shipping, try out the brushes, see if you like it, and then give them feedback. That is all they were asking for in exchange. And so from that feedback, they've been taking into consideration what everybody has been saying, not just makeup artists, but also makeup enthusiasts. And so they've been tweaking their brushes to get them perfect. These three guys are engineers and they have no background in makeup. And so in my head, I'm thinking, okay, Okay, so this is Apple meets Hakuhoto. And that is exactly the aesthetic that Refer Brushes gives me. So when I got my brushes, they come in this little case, which I think is very sleek. And the entire brand is extremely sleek. So one of their main goals is to figure out what's wrong with the beauty industry and then not only fix it, but take it to the next level, which is always appreciated because I love innovation. So all the brushes in their line are super luxurious. Like I said, they're all handmade by brush artisans in Kumano, Japan. If you guys don't know, Kumano, Japan is where all of the luxurious brush companies make their brushes. And all of the brushes are made of premium white goat hair. They're super soft, but not so soft to the point where they don't pick up products. They are the perfect balance of soft, but still effective. The reference Kickstarter is launching today. And so you are able to order some of their brushes for a little bit of a discount 40 to 45 percent before it goes on sale fully in December so all of the brushes that you order through their Kickstarter will take about four months from the start to the end for the production for you all to get them so you'll be getting your brushes around December but if you order them now you will get them for the lesser price point versus waiting until December where you'll get them faster but you'll pay more so in their Kickstarter they're gonna have a total of 15 different brushes and they're dividing them up into two sets so the first category is the core collection and that category has has five different brushes. The core collection has the matte black ferrules and matte black handles. These are the do it all brushes. So these are super versatile. You can use them in a multitude of ways. This set is available for $99 on their Kickstarter, but then during the holidays, this set is going to be $169. So the second category is the bespoke collection, and these are brushes 11 through 20. And so this is not an actual set. These are brushes to accompany the core collection and get them based on your personal makeup application style. So these brushes have a silver ferrule and they are black they have glossy tapered handles and these are the more unique brushes so the odd shapes shapes that you don't see that often and these brushes have minimal branding you'll see the R for rougher and then you'll see the style of the brush embossed on the brush but it's not anything that's super flashy in the two collections you can customize your brushes in two different ways you can get the signature handles which are matte black and straight just like the core collections or you can get the classic handles, which are like the bespoke collections, and those are glossy black and tapered. You can also customize the length. There are four different lengths for you to choose from. You can choose from the short, 
original long or extra long i love that and like i said if you order the brushes on their kickstarter today you do get a discount so you can get either 40 or 45 percent off if you get the bespoke five collection you can pick three different eye brushes or two face brushes for 110 dollars and in december it'll be 185 dollars or if you get the Bespoke 10, you'll get 45% off and you can pick six eye brushes and four face brushes for $199 and in December that will be $368 and you can duplicate the brushes. So if you wanted all four of the same eye brushes and two of the same face brushes, you can do that. Or if you want to get all 15 brushes, it'll be $285 and in December, all 15 brushes will cost $569. But the main thing that I love about these brushes and this brand is that they are so receptive to feed back and they are super accessible it's just different and so that's what I feel like stands out the most about them and that's what I feel like makes them super cool but I want to go ahead and go over each brush that way you all understand what they look like and I have some comparisons in my collection in case you all are interested in that as well some of the brushes have new names because like I said there were prototypes before they have renamed some of the brushes to make it a little bit more simplified so I'll tell you which ones so the first brush is 06 which is that super fluffy powder brush and this one is now the 11 brush so the number 11 brush will be 50% off today on their Kickstarter but I really like this brush for applying powder all over my face okay this next thing made me scream when I got it in the mail because I wasn't expecting it and when I saw it I just fell on the floor Okay, so this is their 02 brush, and it is a dupe for my all-time favorite brush by MAC, which was switched to synthetic fibers, but this one has... This one has the natural hair fibers. And this one is just like the MAC 239. And this one is a little bit better because it's softer. It is my favorite brush to pack on eyeshadow on the lid. And I'm so happy to have it and be able to experience that brush again because I thought I was just going to have to keep on using my same MAC 239s forever. And they are holding on by the hair of their chinny chin chins because they are just old. So the 03 brush is super dope because it is a super small pencil brush and I know you're thinking like I'm thinking it's a small pencil brush so it's going to be very hard and hurt. No, it is still soft. I don't know how they did it. It is sorcery, but that brush is still soft and it allows you to grab that product and it is the perfect brush for applying color underneath your lash line. Zero 04 brush, so I really love this brush. And this one is super versatile on the cheek area. You can use it for bronzing, you can use it for blush or highlight. If you want to, you can use it to set your entire face, but I think this brush is best used as a cheek brush. And lastly, the 05 brush, which you can use this brush for anything. I used it for bronzer. You can use it for your blush, your highlight, your all over powder. It's up to you. So next, moving into the Bespoke collection, and again, this is the more unique collection. Brush number 12 is very interesting. This one was formerly P10A, and I really like this one for cleaning up the outer edge. You can use this if you want to on your lower lash line, although I feel like it's a little bit big for that. For me, I would use this on my outer corner to really buff out that color because it fits really nicely in that area. Brush 13, which is the P07E brush, a really nice small taper brush. I really like this one for detailed work. This one is comparable to me to the Wayne Goss number 19 brush. 
they're both very tapered very small and this one is a little bit more compact so you can be a little bit more direct with it so if you want to do the detailed work in the crease this one is perfect Brush 14 or formerly P07C. Again, this brush is really nice. It is a slightly bigger version of the brush I was just telling you all about. But again, I feel the same way about this one. It's just a little bit fluffier because it's a little bit bigger. Brush 15 or P07A. Love this brush for my crease work. It allows me to get that nice blend going and I like that it's super soft in my crease area. It has that little bit of a point to it so I can be specific with where I place my color, but I love how it applies the color. It picks it up very beautifully. I think this one is comparable to a MAC 217. I also compared this brush to my Tom Ford number 13 brush, but I feel like the Tom Ford one is just a little bit bigger than both the MAC brush and the Ruffer brush. Brush number 16, love this brush. This one, PO7F, but this brush is amazing for so many different things. If you want to do a wash of color on the lid, that's your go-to brush. If you want to apply a highlight but don't want a lot of it, you need a brush like this because you can be super detailed with where you place it. Brush number 17 is a really nice brush. Admittedly, I don't use brushes like this as much as I did when I first started doing my makeup. This brush really reminds me of the MAC 130, but a modernized MAC 130. The MAC 130 brush is a very small kabuki brush, and I used to use this brush to apply my foundation all over. You absolutely can use brush 17 for that, but it is so small, and it will take me a long time to do that. So nowadays, if I use a brush like that, I prefer to use it with a cream product so either like a cream blush or a cream bronzer or a cream contour or something of that nature because the brush is compact but it's soft enough to blend out that product. So brushes like number 18 or P09A are my go-to brushes when applying highlight just because they fit my face shape super well. And I really like the pointedness to the brush like I do with all their other brushes. <laughs> you can also use this to apply powder underneath your eyes, but for me, this is my favorite type highlighter brush. Brush 19 or brush P08. Love that brush. Love, 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 love that brush. I cannot, like I am hyped right now even thinking about that brush. So I love that brush for so many different reasons. You can use that brush to set under your eye or you can use that brush to set all over your face. You can use that brush for your highlight or you can use it for your cheek powder. I mean, I feel like that brush is so versatile because it has that tip to it, but yet it's still flat so you can pack on the powder if you need to. And I think that is the coolest thing about it because I have a lot of brushes that are similar to that shape, but none of them are flat. And lastly, we have the brush 20, which is formerly known as P09B. And this one is a traditional fan brush. And I know a lot of people like to use a fan brush to get their highlighter popping. I don't use fan brushes as much, but this one is lovely. It is very soft and it applies that products beautifully if you like fan brushes. Before I go, I want to tell you all my absolute favorites, and I feel like you all can tell my favorites without me even saying it, but brushes number two and brushes number eight, that's where it's at. So thank you again to Ruffer for sending me over these brushes. I cannot say enough good things about the brand as well as the brushes. The brushes are super high quality. The people that make the brushes are amazing, and I love the fact that they are open to trying new things and being innovative, and they jump right on it, and I love the fact that they are incorporating technology into the beauty industry because that is the next level of innovation. So if you all are interested in buying any of these brushes, I will have a link to their Kickstarter down in the description box as well as a link to a video that you guys can watch if you still want a few more details on how to customize your brushes. But if you do end up buying any, let me know down in the comments section. But I will check you all in my very next video which will be super, super soon.
Smooches. Bye.